their body language, look at their body language if they're stretching or they're in trouble, and there's a higher probability that it's going to go short. But what your dad's saying, correct me if I'm wrong, she serves the ball, it comes back very quickly and she's not ready. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is that really? Yeah. So I think what you got to do, and this isn't on every serve, because obviously sometimes she'll hit the serve, the girl will be stretched out wide, and you're going to come in to anticipate a short ball. That's different. But right now, what your dad's saying is you serve the ball, and it's coming back to you. So basically what should happen is that after she lands, you should always, as your coach is probably told you, you should always go back and split. I mean, that should be the, that's what should happen. So let's do this. Why don't you serve the ball and let me return it? Or not return, I'm going to feed another ball. So you go ahead. She'll be more alert, but just generally talking right there, how she reacted, I think it was very good. But the preparation, unless she meant to, and I don't think she meant to, see how she hit it down the middle or down the line? It should have went cross court. Now, were you aiming there or just went there? See, I'm just concerned on her backhand. Also, she does a, a loop, but she does it late a lot, and she hit the ball late. Now, if she's very aggressive, she can get a lot of racket speed. I don't know. How's the backhand? Has it been pretty good? It's uh, like uh, most of the winning pond uh, she hit is the forehand right, right now. now. Yeah, most of the winning pond she hit is the forehand. Okay. And the backhand uh, basically just solid. Like, yes. Yeah. Okay. Keep yeah. serving. That's a different discussion. If she misses or makes a, makes a shot. What I'm concerned about is I'm returning the ball and she's hitting it down the line. Now, if you hit down the line, it should be on purpose with a lot of power. Because if you don't hit it hard, you're not going to get to the one across court. They're going to run over there and hit it across court. So both shots so far, unless she did it on purpose, I don't think she did, uh, she should always hit it cross court. The only time you go down the line is if you have a lot of time, the sun's shining and you can kill it. And she's, I hit two basic returns. I didn't hit it that hard. And Isabel, because she's late in the preparation, not so much the footwork. I mean, the footwork, I thought she was there. She hit down the line. Now, did you mean to go down the line or just went there? Just went there. See, you gotta have purpose, right there. I'm hitting right there. So, I want when they return that serve, I want her to hit everyone cross court. Let's have clarity in your head. Go. Even the backhand, same, right? Yeah. Okay. I mean, remember what I said. If you're going to go down the line, you better crush it. Okay. I mean, you better have a, and you better be inside the court and have time. She's basically hitting down the line, and she's not in good position. So you mean if in the not if she's not in a good position, she what she should do? So if she's not in a good position, what she cross should do? Cross court every oh, cross time. court every time, okay. Yeah. If she has enough time, okay. if she feels good, then she can go down the line. I prefer the kids more inside the court, and your coach has told you all this stuff. I, I prefer that. Okay. But at the end of the day, 
because she, she doesn't sometimes take the racket back with her shoulders and prepare quickly, she's hitting a little late. And so she accidentally, Dad, hit down the line there. And the girl's going to step up and crush it cross court. Okay. Sometimes Isabel hits late, not because of footwork. I think you've gotten a lot faster and quicker. She needs to prepare early and be cross court, cross court, cross court, cross court kid, cross court kid for two years. Don't hit down the line unless the ball is short and you're going to crush it. And that's going to help her hit the ball more in front and get behind the ball. Because I just feel she she hits the ball too much in the middle for no reason. Even though that was, last one wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Serena does, and the reason why I like it when you go wide, look what you do. See how it brings me back into the court? Where when you go like this, I told you guys this before, it doesn't seem like a big deal in 12 and 14, because the balls don't have a lot of juice yet. That's just the way it is. But as you get older, you'll see every guy, every player, they go wide in a hurry. take an extra step. Mm -hmm. If you start taking an extra step or two in the pros, Eventually, you I want you to watch Federer's body when he strokes the ball and watch hers. And you'll see what I'm saying. How her body, she pull up with her body. And maybe when the guys at home, do they ever tell you to stay down that much? Yeah, I'm just saying you got to be careful because she, she's making more balls now. But just be careful. I'd love for her to stay over the ball longer. Go. It's all good. Uh-oh, Rick wants me to hit it cross-court. 
So she made a little extra effort at the end to hit it cross court. What do you think? That's what it looked like to me. It looked like she was ready to hit it and put that foot down and it would have went right down the middle. See, if you hit it cross court and it's somewhat deep cross court, they got to hit it back to you. But if you hit no juice in the middle, or if you hit it down the line from back to you, she's not, she might get to that one, but it's the beginning of the end. It's a matter, she has to counter punch cross court off the return. Unless it's a short ball, then she can do whatever she wants. she could drill it cross court. So that was one of those at the buffet, you can choose whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. That was good. only hit it in the middle if you want it to go in the middle. See, she's not to the ball. She, she's right to the ball and she kind of lurches at it instead of getting her foot set and then hitting the ball. She's like like lurching to the ball. Alan did that a lot. Like lunge to the ball. Instead of take little steps at the last second, leverage, boom. Go. Keep an eye on that. because I, She's quick and fast but sometimes right near the ball I don't like the footwork. She's off balance. Okay. For no reason. Contact point got behind her. Okay, the ball, she was late. Okay, and this is what people tell all the time. You were late. Okay, let's say you were late. That's A. Why were you late? Okay, she got to the ball. Maybe she overran it. Maybe she didn't. You got to the ball. But when the ball was there, then she did the backswing. See, I think she needs to set the racket and get it set earlier and pull it. And then her little steps at the last second, the relationship between her and the ball. See, to, in my opinion, She's too good a player to miss that shot. That's unacceptable in my mind. She, she overran the ball, prepared late, and then she hits the ball like that. Once in a while, fine. But I don't see when she runs to the ball, and I see this a lot. She runs the ball instead of... Doesn't gather her momentum. Sometimes she does, but on that time she didn't. And she has to adjust her feet so she can hit the ball more in front. Let's go. 
So you mean she should stand uh, like more still before the shot, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. But now why? I just did an amazing shot. I hit vanilla pudding. I hit vanilla. She got to the ball. Got too close to it again. Then she does the bubble loop. All this stuff takes more time. So, the relationship between her and the ball, too close. Instead of run to the ball, you run the ball like. Right? So, the ball goes down the middle. So someone says, Isabel hit cross court. Me or whoever. But you see all these things that contributed to why it went down the middle. But she has to say, I'm not, I'm not happy with that, I'm not satisfied. See, if that goes over the net, a lot of time the kids are okay. And if they win the point, they're really okay. But this is about doing things right and quality. Again, she's too good for that to happen. Like what? Does she ever really drive the ball, or is it more like a loop, like an arc? Uh, pretty flat. Huh? Pretty flat. You mean? No. That, does she? You think she is flat, or she has too much spin? Uh, pretty flat. But the think? backhand mm -hmm. is the uh, more top spin. But okay. forehand is really flat and with power. Okay. Uh, okay. So all I'm trying to say is um, that was actually better. Um, that was actually better. But I need her to give me some feedback. Because what you brought up today, to me, is huge. Because I see what you're seeing. Okay, and it's not just about the balls going out or her making errors. I think that's something different. I don't, you know, just setting up. Even if she makes it, there's too many balls. There's too many balls that are going down the middle for no reason. And if it's deep and hard, depending on your opponent, you'll get away with it. But a lot of times you're not going to get away with it. So did everything I say make sense? Talk to me about today's lesson. First off, let's talk about the forehand. What little adjustment? It's little, but it's all about little things. I'm help, I help people on the pro tour. You have no idea. It's little things and make the big difference. Big difference. Mm -hmm. Forehand. What do you think I want you to do just a little different? Uh, put the elbow just little. She didn't have to go crazy. Just a little. Mm. And she got a faster racket. She said so. Great. And it made that made it go more at five o'clock. Okay. On the uh, um, return of serve. Return serve on the backhand. And use their pace. It's almost like I like to explain it like it's like a block. Mm. Come on out. It's like it's like a block with huh. a follow through. Okay, now the forehand. Now on the forehand, you also take it back with them and set it. Yeah, mm. you see, someone like Feder, you know, he's like this and then like that. So in return, uh -huh. he'll just put the racket like that. Okay. He's not going to have it up. Yeah. I mean, you could, yeah. it's more complicated. Okay. What about the serve plus one? Cross court, unless the sun's shining, she has all day, then she goes down the line. Okay. The one, one more thing, just yeah. one more thing. The timing of the split. Right before, before the, the person hits it. Look, it's always, uh. it's always... Right before that person hits, that's when you go that high off the ground. Then she should step into the court? No, 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 oh. no. It should be, she should go back on the return of serve, uh, after she serves, she should go back and right before they hit it, split. Uh, for the return serve? Oh, return of serve, uh. she should come like neutral, just right before contact split and go a little forward. Go a little bit forward. Yeah, don't okay. go crazy. I mean, okay. Don't run in there like Murray. Like. <laughs> okay. Good. Houston.